Anacapa Island, one of the Channel Islands, just 11 miles off the coast of Southern California. Comprised of three islets, Anacapa's steep cliffs, vegetated terrain, and protected beaches provide safe haven for a variety of marine mammals and seabirds. But during the 80s and 90s, resource managers noticed a steady decline in the population of some species of seabirds on Anacapa. One of the primary reasons, predation by the non-native black rat. I mean, the rats affected everything here. They affected the gulls, they affected the merlets, they affected the mice, they affected the lizards, they affected the vegetation. In this infrared footage, a rat is seen attacking decoy eggs placed in a nesting site on Anacapa. The rats prey heavily on a rare nocturnal seabird named the Scripps's murrelet. There are four primary breeding islands in the world for these seabirds, and Anacapa is one of them. It was really important that we brought back this potential habitat here on Anacapa Island, and we provided that and allowed, once again, for murrelets to be able to nest here. Given the chronic threat to the seabird populations, a group of government, university, and nonprofit organizations partnered together in the late 90s to rid the island of the black rat and document the subsequent restoration. So we spent four years designing a program that would have the maximum likelihood of eliminating every last rat while still conserving the other native species that are unique to Anacapa Island. The team developed a strategy using helicopters to distribute a specially formulated rodenticide. After years of preparation, on a cool, clear December day in 2001, the bait was loaded onto the island and the application began. This was the first time an application procedure like this would take place in North America. Ten years after the initial eradication, the benefit of removing rats from the island becomes increasingly evident. It's only been 10 years since we implemented Anacapa. In ecological time, it's just a drop in the bucket. But the changes were documented or have been documented on the island are incredible. The seabirds are recovering. They're expanding outside of the sea caves. We're seeing them recolonize areas where they were never thought to be nesting when the rats were, were present. And to see new species come to the island, discovering actually storm petrels nests on the island, cast and sockets on the island. As for the Scripps's murrelets, researchers are now finding more productive nesting sites with eggs intact in areas that had a history of predation. When you look at areas like this at Landing Cove and other areas on the island that aren't in the sea caves, the growth rates in this area are upwards of 25% per annum. For a seabird, that's unheard of. I was recently on Anacapa and it's like, wow, we had an impact, a positive impact on this ecosystem here in Southern California. And it's paying dividends. The island is paying dividends and it's gonna continue paying dividends for future generations.